Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube, and welcome to the Pokey Truck. Today, we're up bright and early because it is Thursday morning, and you guys know what that means. It is restock day. We are getting up, we are getting out there. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Hopefully, you can learn some tips and tricks to try to be able to do this yourself. I know it can be kind of hard. You have to stay positive, persistent, and uh, I think a little bit of luck is involved, too. So what we're trying to do right now is hopefully uh, meet the card person at Walmart while they're restocking so we can be in line to get whatever the de desired sets are right now. Um, some of the hot sets we have in sports are uh, NFL Prism, so you got people looking for that. Uh, you know, we got people looking for the ch or Hidden Fates, ETBs, whenever those are going to drop. Nobody knows when they're going to drop retail levels, so you just got to be out there every week hoping to catch one. I've heard uh, information that there's like 80,000 units that'll be going to big box stores, so it sounds like a lot, but it's really kind of not a lot. So, um, really just gotta be up and out there and hopefully be at the store when they put them out. Um, I caught some wind that there's some hidden fates that are gonna be at stores, a couple Kanto boxes, uh, you know, you got your Champions Path double and Hatterene boxes that are supposed to be in. Um, that's just what I heard so far. So guys, we're gonna, like I said, we're just gonna hit a couple Walmarts, possibly a Target, maybe even some Walgreens in between while we're going to these different cities. Um, and yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys learn something um, or else at least, you know, start trying to build, um, you know, get times and stuff like that. Like I said in one of my past videos, what you wanna do is like, you know, possibly talk to the cashiers and kind of befriend them, of course, be nice. Uh, courteous, respectful, and if they can see your intentions are pure, then they may help you out. Um, you know, if we're, like being a collector, actually cracking them and not just trying to get them to resell them. So if they sense you're a reseller, they're probably gonna try to lie and deceive you and give you false information that is not true. Um, I've had that happen quite a few times. Um, Cause I think that my you know, my this, how big of a collector I am gets confused with, uh, you know, me trying to get these to resell them, and that is not what I'm trying to do, but um, over time, you know, just from them seeing my face and stuff like that, I have gotten them to give me information, and what you, like I said, what you want to do is just start trying to build, you know, uh, get a notebook and start jotting down the times when they restock at these stores, or you know, talk to other people that you see looking for cards, and they hopefully they can give you some information, but also be careful with that. Because they may try to lie and deceive you because you're technically competition then. So these card scalpers, man, they're, they're trying to buy anything and everything. So you really got to be there when they restock. Um, we're going to be showing up at our first Walmart now. See if we've I4 early, if we've missed it. Or there's a possibility they're not even restocking today because according to their contract with Walmart, um, they have or maybe it's with MJ Holding, I don't know, the third party that actually puts out the cards, they have uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday that they have to have the cards out. And keep in mind that these people that do restock the cards, they also take care of many other products inside of Walmart, um, you know, like magazines and um, some food products, you know, I, I don't know all the products, but they, they do have to go and do those too, and sometimes those other products uh, have a, have a, uh, they're higher up on the list of priority to do. So sometimes I do that first and they'll push the cards off till Friday or Saturday. So it's, uh, it's hit and miss. It's different every week, but you know, that's how you're going to get the cards just being the first there. So, um, we're pulling up to our first Walmart. I'll park and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find folks. Super excited. All right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are, as promised. Oh, I'm gonna clean off the camera here. There we go, Walmart, first one. Let's go see if we can find any cool items inside and uh, take you guys along on the journey. Be right back. What's up, folks? So we're here, let me just flip you around, show section. So it is all wiped out, but these, you know, usually you can tell if you at least see one product that shouldn't be here, but these have been here. These tops, wrestling, wrestling stuff. Um, 
So honestly, I can't really tell if they have been here. Seeing these though, kind of make me think that they did restock, but also racing, at least in my area, just kind of sits around and doesn't really move or anything. We have some maximum gold. Yeah, as you see, everything is just kind of sold out. Got a little bit of magic here. And then here's our Pokemon section, which usually is a little more than this on the shelf, but it's it's bad right now. So maybe we'll just go to the next place and see. We got some jump start. Yeah, honestly, I don't think they did restock today. But we'll find out. Maybe we'll come back to the store, folks. Let's head on to the next one. What up, Poke people? So nothing there yet. I'm kind of thinking that they didn't restock. Um, unless they just got wiped out that hard, but it, man, I'm not sure. So I think I'm gonna swing back, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go check out Target because they are running a sale where you save $10 off a $50 purchase or save $25 off a $100 purchase. So I think that's a fantastic deal that I would like to partake in. And uh, I'm gonna go find my truck since I'm completely walking in the opposite direction talking to y'all. <laughs> And uh, we'll meet back and see what we find. Be right back. What a family. So we are at Walgreens right now. Um, just, I was driving by, so I like to check, see if for some crazy reason those mystery power boxes came back and whatever else they have. Um, we did stop at GameStop as well. They had nothing as figured, especially since I have like $100 in store credit that I'd be able to use. Of course, they have nothing. But let me show you what they have here at Walgreens. <laughs> it's stocked, stocked full. No, I'm just kidding. They don't have nothing here really as you can see. Some Yu-Gi-Oh! One theme deck and some magic. But uh, gonna go back to looking at Target like I said. So let's head over there right now folks. Alright Pokey people. Here we are at Target. You know what I say? Hopefully we can look out here, especially with their deal going on. Even if they have a couple of small and mighty boxes, I haven't picked one of those up yet. I've been wanting to. And if I can get two for 75 bucks, that's an amazing deal. Especially with that promo being 20 bucks raw alone. So let's see what we can find, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go in here. Got a mask up. Because safety first. Be right back. All right, pokey people. Here we are. We got some binders and all this kind of junk, or I mean stuff. And then here's the sports section. I don't see anything too desirable. Not that I would really pick it up anyways. We got some tins here for Yu-Gi-Oh. We got this guy that's piquing my interest. This mystery power cube, two legendary packs. So you get a blue eyes white dragon and a metal raiders. All right. And then two rares in this promo or whatever. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yu-Gi-Oh tins. We got a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh stocked up here, a lot of magic, Yu-Gi-Oh starter boxes, and we got these maximum golds, which I don't understand why they're $30 in store, but all over online, they're only like 20 bucks, so I've yet to understand that. Here we got this thing, not sure what that is, these new tins, ooh, here we go, oh, we got some of those guys right there, if we can get them to price match, that would be pretty slick. Here is the small and mighty that I think I'm going to be after one of these. So like I said, I have yet to pick one up. I'll check out the promo, see which one looks the best. We got some ore beetle boxes over there. And uh, this, oh, we got some of the collector's chests under there. And this uh, Target has some in back, so we'll also go check back there too. Man, these are nice. I'm going to try to see if they'll price match. Oh, and we got this behind me too. Some Naruto bunch of tins that box and yeah all right let's go check out the back folks <laughs> all right bogey people here we are in the back we got these burner shadows rebel clash 10 bucks not a horrible deal but i'm gonna pass for now just because i found some other stuff look at all these tins why didn't they have those on black friday when they were on sale go figure huh we got some more lunchbox tins some more evolution celebration tins oh my gosh or beetle those tins right there. We got some Meowth, Poltergeist, more small and mighty collections. And look what I actually found in my cart. I got a small and mighty and a Champions Path ETB. It is kind of ripped, but I don't think it's ripped enough to wear. 
you know, it's been opened or resealed. It just looks like it's been uh, handled very roughly. I was kind of considering this too, just because it comes with this blue eyes white dragon. Let's see. Kind of looks pretty cool, right? It's 10 bucks. We'll see. And we even got this over here. I actually found my ETV down hidden back behind these boxes. Score. Sorry, whoever put that there. <laughs> found it down in here. Make sure there's no more hanging around. So I'd rather take two of those. No, we look good. All right, let's go check out the last section. And here's the last section that they have in the back. It's a real small end cap way in the back of the store. Got some Eternatus boxes. These are cool. Darkness Ablaze, Rebel Clash, Burning Shadows. You only get six packs for the 40 bucks, so I'm going to still go with my small and mighty because I don't have any. Then we got some other pokey toys here. So we're going to go up to the front right now. Uh, check out our findings. Hopefully the $25 off of $100 works. And uh, we'll take it from there. Probably go back to Walmart. So, alright folks. What up guys? So yo, you guys, man, I just got a super, super, super crazy deal. I'm going to show you guys how I got it. Here at Target, you guys got to check this out. Let me set down some of this stuff here in the pokey truck real, real quick. So check this out guys, let me down. So here's everything I picked up. I got this, which is normally $50, right? And a Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box for, let me show you now, let me show you. I got it for cash payment. $40.64. So let me show you how. So right now they are running a special that is if you spend $100 on toys you get $25 off or if you spend 50 you get $10 off. So either uh, either 20% off or 25% off. And they also have another deal going on. Oh and I did get that little blue eyes white dragon thing because I needed to make it over 100. And then guys what they have going on is Ubisoft video games, right? Look for that Ubisoft. Um, they have them buy two, get a free $50 gift card that they give you immediately. So here's what I did. I bought these two and I even price matched them to Walmart. So they went down from 60 to about $50 a piece. So these two games for $100, but they give you an immediate $50 gift card, guys. So I took that gift card, applied it to this, and with the $25 off and then the $50 gift card brought all this down to $40. And that is $110 worth of product pre-tax. And I got it for $40. Now you ask, all right, but you, bought, you spent $100 on these two games. I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and either put them on uh, eBay, put them on Mercari, something like that. You know, I'll drop them low too. I'll put them for like $45, like $15 off a retail price. They'll probably sell quick. I might even be able to get $50 because that's still $10 off retail price. After fees on a $50 purchase in a game, it'll cost like $3 a ship. Fees will be about $5, so you're looking at $8. And I'm sure that these will sell fast during the holiday season because this is also good for Xbox Series X. And, on, and you can get the PS5 versions too, but they were out of stock. But you can also, guys, go right online right now, look at all the Ubisoft games, and every two you buy, they will give you a $50 gift card. I remember I did this last year, guys, and I did like... I, I don't know. I ended up with like $300 in gift cards. And then I just took all the games and sold them at a, at a discounted price. And so the people that bought them got a deal. And I basically got a three a free $300 worth of gift cards. So guys, check out that deal. All this right here paid about $140. Um, but look at the amount I saved. I got free $50, a free $25. So $75 worth of free stuff to put towards my Pokemon and allow me to open product at a cheaper price so guys got to check it out got to get on that at tarjay dude just an amazing deal that's a fire deal i didn't even know about the game sales so i think they said it goes till saturday today um today is thursday so there's still a few days left of that sale guys you got to check that out get some pokemon cards cheap and it don't even matter even if they just have whatever boxes glarian surfetch boxes you know at that steep of a discount 
it's totally worth it. So guys, I'm gonna head back to that Walmart that we were at before that did not restock. And then after that, we'll probably head home. So let's go. All right, Pokemon freaks and fanatics, here we are back in the Poke truck. We lucked out at Walmart. Let me show you what I was able to grab. And then we'll do a little discussing, a little discussing, a little discussion going over what we did. Uh, just all the main topics of this video, the takeaway, stuff like that. So let me show you what I picked up here at Walmart. Let's go. Let's flip you around. All right, guys. So first up, here's what we got at Target. And again, all that was for $40 by buying these, getting that $50 gift card. I'm just going to put those on my car, eBay for a good low price, get rid of them real quick. Uh, the customer will save. I got money. It's a win-win all around. Target got screwed, but whatever. And then pick this up at Walmart, guys. There was two of these. Uh, split these up with the other people that were there and then check this out and this is $40 for 10 evolutions packs and then next up Bam, we got us one hidden fates box There was only three of them there and there were three pokey collectors So we each got one of the hidden fates collections $20 retail baby and then there was one lonely Double box that was left behind nobody picked it up. So I was like well I don't necessarily need it. I have one at home, but it's the last one. Maybe this is the lucky one. So I just picked it up so we can crack that together, guys. And then they also had these guys right here, Evolutions Pack in these tins. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. I have ones like these that are Hidden Fates, XY Base, uh, Phantom Forces. I have, uh, who else do I have? I have... Uh, well, a bunch of Hidden Fates, some other cool sets. It's the first Evolutions one I've seen, but these are $8 a piece. So it's not the craziest deal. You can kind of find them for around that price online. They're selling for like 10 online. But I like the I like the, the look of the hanger like this, and I'll show you guys why here shortly. That'll be coming up in a video soon enough, and you'll see why I like these packs with these particular hangers. So we'll set that right there. And then also I picked this Yu-Gi-Oh pack up because it was only $3 on clearance, first edition. And you have a potential at this uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So that'll just be fun. I have a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff I've been saving up to open up with you guys. Um, so we'll just add that to the pile. And then we got some Vivid Voltage. Um, this was actually the only one they had. So it was another thing when it's like the last one in the store. I like to pick it up just to see if that's the lucky one. And that way I have some, at least some Vivid Voltage to open up with you guys. Because I still have a long way to go in my completion to complete that set just the truck just ate that one right there and then i did pick up three of these panini nfl prism hanger boxes these are about 17 a piece but these the set is super hot right now you can pull a lot of value um you know i'm just a collector of all sorts so i'll give it a whirl i'll see what's up with that and uh see if we can pull anything cool or also another tip i want to tell you guys is in my area, a lot of the sports card scalpers and collectors, when they can't find their product, they come over and they start taking our product, right? They take our Hidden Fates, they take our Evolutions, they take our Champion's Path. And what I do with these also sometimes is I'll go on Facebook Marketplace or some people I already know, and I'll be like, hey, I picked up some NFL Prism uh, Blasters. Uh, or hangers, do you have any Pokemon you want to trade? And then that way you can trade these and trade it for Pokemon product at a better value than like, you know, double retail price what the scalpers always want to charge. So I also use these for trading power too when I can't find the Pokemon that I was looking for. So there's this everything we got right there, folks. I uh, think today was a lucky day. Um, spent about 200 bucks and I mean, look at all the product I have here. Look at, no, actually about, let's see, 40 bucks at Target, and then I spent about 160, yeah, so about 200 bucks at Walmart. And look at all that, guys. So, recap of the day is, uh, hope you guys learned something, and if you just, you know, do my methods, how I showed you, get out early Thursday morning, um, get a notebook, be nice to the people that work there, try to find times when they actually delivered and stuff like that. Um, see if you can get them to give you any kind of information and uh, you know you just got to stay persistent and um, you know you can bounce from store to store but if you just stay at one store from open till you know 5 p.m. that's about when they stop restocking you most likely will get something um, or else you can go to the next store and the next store and if they don't come Thursday then check Friday if they don't come Friday then check Saturday and I mean it can be a mission and it does take time but um, you know, after doing it a while and actually be, being successful like so, 
Um, you know, you'll start to enjoy the hunt as much as opening the packs, except when you don't get anything, then it kind of sucks. But, um, you know, just follow my methods, guys. You will find some stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys did find anything. Um, I actually got to head out now, go to GameStop, pick up Cyberpunk 2077, because I actually got that yesterday. If you paid in full by December 9th, um, you get a $20, basically, gift card when you pick it up. So, that was another cool deal. You know what I mean? Maximizing the deals. And I even just took in some old, three old Wii games and actually got Cyberpunk 2077 for free. So, today's going to be a fun day, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys were able to find anything, if my methods work for you. And I really hope that this will help you guys be able to find some cards because I know it can be a very, very, very tough game. Um, you know, just trying to be a collector. But hopefully you learned some tips that will help you. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you guys to join the Odd Squad, join the conversation. You know, we do card openings, educational videos, whatever it may be, whatever I feel like that day, whatever I feel like you guys need to see or need to hear. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for all the overwhelming support you've given me thus far. I sincerely appreciate it, guys. You guys are the best. Have a fantastic day. Good luck card hunting. Get out there. Go get them. Use these methods, and let's get it, guys. Nick and Nick signing out. Peace.